At exactly 7 a.m., Lee Funeral Home was under heavily military presence and other security apparatus guarding the body of the once Commander-in-Chief from the years 2002 all the way to 2013. So may he bring Moi Kibaki to the fullness of his election and life with all that he did. Awaiting to start his final journey to his rural home in Odaya constituency near County, where he was laid to rest. The Kenya Defence Forces, tasked with guarding and escorting the body, took charge, lifting the cortege and placing it inside the house with the number plate 61KA58. But unlike the country's second president, Daniel Turoiti Charap Moi, whose body was flown by air to his Kabarak home, Kibaki's body was driven through the thicker superhighway, a road he is hugely credited for constructing, all the way to his Odaya home where he will be laid to rest. The house, while on the clear roads, was heavily guarded with all security agencies in the country, ensuring the late president is accorded an easy ride all the way to his rural home. Residents of central Kenya showed up in large numbers to bid farewell to their son, the late former president Mwai Kibaki, as his cortege transversed the region for his final journey on the way to Othayanyeri County for his state burial service. In Karatina town, as the late Mwai Kibaki's cortege briefly came to a stop, the military continued to play their guard role. Kenyans gathered at Mwai Kibaki's cortege briefly stop in Karatina town. <laughs> Residents of Karatina waved white flags in honor of the former president Mwai Kibaki's cortege and the journey resumed. <laughs> and at exactly 10 a.m., the body of the late arrived outside the premises of the Odaya approved school grounds. His body was moved from the house to the familiar military gun carriage, which was heading towards the approved school grounds for the burial service. But before the body reached the gates of the school, the military band played the country's national anthem as a sign of respect to the fallen commander-in-chief, as well as to welcome him to his estate burial with full military honours that was second to none. Once the body arrived inside the venue, the late head of state family received the body flanked by the men in cloth to escort the body inside the tent where the service started.